when does it stop? I mean, how many jobs can this earth possibly support? How much, how big of a flow of income uh, can our base of natural capital support? And I think we need, every time we're faced with the question of, aren't you supportive of, of uh, higher rates of employment, higher rates of income, I think we have to make sure that that question is couched in terms of the other side of the coin, if you will, which is what are the implications, the consequences of more and more jobs, more and more production of goods and services, which presumably are equate to those jobs, uh, more and more income, which again equates to more and more production and consumption of goods and services. If in the process of that we're pulling out the rug from our own kids and grandkids' future, their employment, their income, and their environmental quality, then I think we should, we should back up a little bit and, and focus in on the prospect of stabilizing both the number of jobs and then, of course, the population so that you don't have, <clears throat> excuse me, so that you don't have rising rates of unemployment. You'd have a stable rate of employment. Calling, 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 calling.